This is a type of heat engine. I've done a couple videos on them before. The uh, slang name for it is a flame sucker, uh, but it's just a type of vacuum engine because it works on, uh, instead of higher pressure inside the cylinder, it works actually by creating a lower pressure inside the cylinder. Um, so let's do a walk around uh, just for those who haven't seen this before. And this is the burner up here. And I put a flame screen on it because one of the issues I encountered was when the flame is not uh, stable, then the flame is not sucked into the engine and the whole thing quits rather uh, rapidly. So I put a, a stainless steel screen around that. We'll take it off just so you can see things more clearly. Uh, that's the wick right there. And then if we tip this up, I think we can see the, yeah, the intake port. And this is where the flame is pulled into the engine. Uh, this is the valve that covers it. There's a cover plate on the valve. Let's see if I can keep that in focus. Yeah. So there's the cover plate and you can see it moves up and down. Uh, and then this mechanism right here coming down this side and this little connecting rod goes to this cam. And that is what controls the valve opening and closing the amount and also the timing. Uh, one of the stars of the show today is this connecting rod that goes to the piston. And I'm going to try something. I'll cover that in a second. I'll tell you what uh, has been going on and, and what I'm planning on doing. But uh, one of the big problems with this engine was it's overheating. Uh, you need a temperature differential between the front and back of the engine that needs to be hot here and colder here. And it wasn't happening. What was happening is the cylinder would heat up and then the engine would gradually just quit. Uh, yeah, so what I did to fix that, well, wait a minute, let's keep continue our walk around. So I'm getting ahead of myself. So again, this is the thing that controls the valve on this side. And on this side is just the flywheel and that. Um, and then we have the uh, balancers uh, back here and the uh, crankshaft. Uh, cylinder as I mentioned before and again this connecting rod and you can barely see the piston uh, coming out of the back there there's the piston uh, so let's uh, zoom in a little bit and I can show you what I've done and what I'm thinking about doing um, the spoiler here is that my uh, my heat sink that I added just doesn't cut it it'll extend the runtime but still the sooner or later the uh, cylinder uh, heats and it comes to a, a halt. So I've extended the time about double, but that's still not good enough. So what I'm thinking about doing is uh, moving air around this heat sink because right now it's all convection. It's just the air gets hot and it drifts away by itself. Um, if I could somehow move air against here, then that would, uh, that would help. Uh, what I'm thinking about, well, I thought about like using a fan, but you know, that's kind of cheating. And also a fan will destabilize the flame. And if the flame is not directly in front of that port, this thing quits immediately. So you need a, a steady, uh, a steady flame. Uh, I tried this, uh, this thing here, the flame screen, it helps. But if you have any kind of serious draft, yeah, it just, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't hold up. So uh, electric fan is out and it's kind of cheating anyway to use electricity. Um, so what I've been thinking about is putting something on the shaft right here so that when it moves back and forth, it kind of slaps air, uh, slaps air up against the, the heat sink and causes at least a, an active circulation without uh, carrying the, the airflow around to the front of the engine where it'll disrupt the flame. Yeah, I had also considered putting uh, fins on the flywheel, uh, but again, that would create way too much draft. So I think I'm just going to try some duct tape and try to form a, something out of the, on the shaft here so that when it goes back and forth, it just pumps the air and splashes air up against there. Okay, let's try that and then we'll go out and run it. Well, you know what? Let me show you what I got before I go downstairs. This is either genius or insanity. You know how you've heard uh, fix it with duct tape? Well, here we are. Yeah, so what I've done is I've looped a piece of duct tape down here and stuck it to the bottom. I don't know how long it'll stick there with the heat. 
but you can see it'll splash the air. It's kind of like one of those old lawnmower engines that use an oil splasher instead of a pump. Uh, if it works, of course, it's uh, worth a uh, better fix than this, but yeah, okay, well, uh, nothing to it but to do it. Let's go try. Here we are out on the back porch and we're ready to go. Got it fueled up and we'll see if we can get it to go. This burner has to be preheated. Too much heat input and not enough heat dissipation. fuel out of everything. Alcohol on my finger, probably set myself on fire again. I hate when I do that. Yeah, it clearly will run faster without the, the air scoop. Well, I'm about done wasting my time with this. Just wasn't a very good design. And everything I've done to try to fix it has improved it by a little tiny amount. I mean, it would really just have to be reworked. That cylinder needs a massive uh, heat sink on it to make this thing keep running. And you can find them online that, that people uh, made their own and they put big heat sinks on them and they run just fine. So my attempt at a quick fix, eh, I mean if I had a machine shop it would be different, but I don't. 
and you know I've done my best with the, putting the heat sink on here just not enough area and as we saw when I put that air pump on there the air pump was just too much friction too much drag on the system and actually made things worse so yeah it's already starting to boil water on the heat sink well I'm gonna call it a wrap on this I hate to fail but I really thought that I could at least extend the running time on it uh, the best I've done is with this heat sink I've got it to run about twice as long but I mean you're talking about still less than a minute total so um, it's just not uh, it's not practical okay well I'm gonna say uh, goodbye for now watch this thing start running as I'm closing out yeah goodbye for now and uh, yeah if you're gonna get one of these don't get this model get get somebody else's that has a big heat sink on it